Welcome to a new feature release by us at Zella. So we're really, really happy to announce that we now have subscription, pay trials, payment plans, and setup fee for PayPal. Now I know a lot of you have highly awaited this uh, new feature, so uh, we now have it. So this uh, new feature was a hugely popular um, demand from you as users. Um, especially a big pain point was for our user base uh, who are in countries where uh, Stripe is not provided. So uh, yes, we have done it. We are super excited to announce that we now support all the comprehensive options for PayPal. Um, new features um, on PayPal integration include subscription, recurring plans, uh, payment plans, we have paid trials, we have initial setup fees and coupons plus VAT for above. Okay. So I'm going to run through, there are a couple of things that um, I need to talk about with it that um, are not functioning for this so I need to make a big note of those and I'll explain that um, at the end of the video so let me just talk you through it it's basically it's exactly the same as you would set up normally for your um, subscription and probably in a lot of cases if you've got PayPal activated you won't really need to do anything because it's already there so instead of having the stripe option at the bottom you're now going to have the PayPal as well okay so guys, let me just take you into the platform and we can just have a look at the features. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our PayPal. If you don't set up the PayPal correctly, then although PayPal will be added to the subscriptions, reoccurring payments inside of your platform, then it will not work. So as you can see here in this particular course, I have a billing £100 a year for all billing so it's a subscription and you're going to notice down here that PayPal is active because I have integrated Stripe and PayPal then automatically PayPal is now added however I've not set up my PayPal account properly so what will happen when I click this button is it will try to connect to PayPal but it will not work it says we cannot send your payment right now contact support however if they were to fill out their card details using Stripe, which is this one here, um, it would all go through fine. So it's really important for you guys that have got any subscriptions on your site and you've activated PayPal, that you go in there and make sure your PayPal is all working, okay? And then you'll need to just change the payment plan. I'm gonna show you that in a second, and then it will all work. So we're gonna go through it now. We're gonna go into PayPal and we're gonna set it up inside of your PayPal account so that everything's ready. And then we're gonna go back into this page and we're gonna retest it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to developer.paypal.com and you're going to log in to your dashboard. So I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna log in. And now I'm logged in. Once I click the security, inside here let's choose these steps and verify okay so now i'm in the developer.paypal.com now i need to do a few little things in here one is to make sure i'm in my apps and credentials make sure you're in this area we're going to create a new app here I'm going to make sure this is on live as well. So I'm going to create the app here. And we're going to call this Payment Subs. You can call it whatever you like. And we're going to click Create App. So we're just going to check now quickly. I'm going to go back to here. We're just going to check that it's in my app and credentials, which it should be. Let's go to live because I made it live. There it is there. Mojo Mojo, payment subs, gonna hit that again. Okay, so we know this is live at the moment. So what we wanna do now is we wanna add a webhook. So we're gonna go in here and just click add webhook. And we're gonna put a URL in here and you need to make sure it's the same URL. So I'm just going to paste it in here. Look for the descriptions for the URL. There it is there. And once I have that, I then need to make certain event types real so I'm going to go into here and we are going to make sure certain 
but these are on. So I'm going to do payment sale completed. So I'm going to scroll down to here. Payment sale completed. Billing subscription payment failed. I'm going to do billing, billing subscription expired. I'm going to do billing subscription cancelled. Billing subscription created. Payment sale refunded. This is so that you can get alerts. And payment refund completed. Like that. So now you've done this, you've got all those seven clicked. So it's billing subscription cancelled, billing subscription created, billing subscription expired, billing subscription payment failed. And down here you have payment refund completed, payment sale completed, payment sale refunded. Okay, make sure you've got those checked and click save. Okay, so that has saved that out now. So all we need to do now is to hook this up inside our integrations inside of your platform so i'm going to jump back into my site and i'm going to be copying this paypal account and the client id to put into the integrations so i'm going to open it up as a new tab so inside of site integrations i'm going to go into my paypal and i'm going to click edit paypal settings okay so i'm now going to put my new payment client id in here which is this long one here so if you look in paypal you can see that i've got it here and i'm also going to take the sequence i'm going to select all copy it it's blurred out for security and i'm going to put it into here like this and then i'm going to go back to paypal and i'm going to show my secret key okay and i'm going to copy this jump back to my site and put the key in here. Again, this is sensitive information, so it is blurred. And now I'm gonna click save. Okay, so we're gonna test that this all works now by jumping into that course and seeing if it connects with PayPal. Just before we check, there's one very important point. Now you have this set up, it will all work for new subscriptions that you put into your site and payment plans. But if you have already existing ones, that you've already set up so you've already set up a subscription then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to reconnect with paypal so you're going to need to do something really really simple guys you just need to go into your courses and for each course that has a subscription you need to make a slight change and then update it so it now connects with paypal this is a one-time thing any new courses that you bring out and you actually set them up as subscription or payment plans, they're going to automatically be connected. But because you've already got them from before you added this, then it needs to make that connection. You can create that connection by making a quick change in the pricing plan and then resaving it and then it's sorted. So just for your benefit, just to make it absolutely clear. So I'm gonna jump into that course we looked at and I'm just gonna change it quickly and we're gonna see the effect. So here's that payment plan. So because I've already got it existing, I'm going to make a quick edit. So I'm gonna go into edit. I'm going to simply change this and maybe change this to subscription. I'll just change it to our annual subscription. And then I'm just gonna click update. And now what's gonna happen, because I've made that little change, is it's going to bridge the gap between the two. So now we've done that, let's just check our subscription now. So I'm in Incognito and I'm going to jump to the page. As you can see, we've still got our PayPal button, but things are gonna work now because we've actually set up our PayPal account. So I'm gonna go into here and just put my email address. And we're going to try paying with PayPal. So I'm gonna click PayPal now. And what's gonna happen is it will connect to PayPal and ask me to log in. Okay, let's just hit next. And it's gonna take me into here, log in. And it's going to then take me to pay for this. And there we go. So I can accept that and take the payment. And that's it. So now you have got that set up on your system. So that's how you can set up PayPal to take subscriptions and all the other options that you've seen in the video. 
So carry on watching the video now because I'm going to go into detail about setting up pricing plans and the features of this in more detail. But this is the essential thing you need to do. You need to go into your PayPal account and you need to set up those web hooks and tick those boxes uh, then for it to connect. And if you have existing subscriptions, remember to go in there and just edit it. Any new ones you create from now on will be fine but it's the old ones that didn't have this new upgrade put in that you need to just change it so it builds the connection between the two. And you do that once you've done all your PayPal bits at the beginning. So hopefully this is nice and clear for you. Uh, like I said, from this point on, you don't need to touch it and it's all gonna work with subscriptions and payments once you've got that initial thing set up. Okay, let's get into the video now. Okay, so this course hasn't got any pricing plans in. So what we're gonna do is my Stripe and PayPal have been set up in my integrations, so I'm gonna add a new pricing plan. So uh, with PayPal, obviously one-time purchases work as they usually do. So in subscription and payment plan, we now have these new options. So I'm gonna go into subscription here. Just gonna set up a simple subscription. So I'm gonna go in, just make this five pound a month, and I'm gonna do this monthly and name it subscription. Okay, and I'm just going to click finish. Okay, so I'm now just going to refresh this page now that's been published. And as you can see here, we now have the option down here to pay with PayPal. So you can see this uh, payment plan is five, uh, this subscription is five pound a month for all billings. Okay, so to pay by PayPal, you just click Pay with PayPal. I've got Stripe enabled as well, so I've also can put my Stripe details in and buy it through Stripe. Let's jump back now and look at another method. So this time I'm going to add a payment plan. Let's go into payment plan, go in here. We're going to say five payments, um, four installments taken monthly, and I'm going to put payment plan in here and simply hit the finish, jump back to my page and refresh. And now we have a payment plan. So this is four payments, five pound a month. As you can see down at the bottom, you can pay with PayPal again. So remember with any course, you can set up multiple different payment types or a single payment type if you want. Okay, let's look at another feature. Let's look at paid trials. So I'm gonna go in here and for this trial, I'm going to go into subscription. You can use this for payment plan as well. And I'm gonna say that I wanna take five pound a month. I'm gonna call that paid trial. And I'm gonna set an additional fee, and put the additional fee as two pound in there. So that's actually just set this to 10. So it'll be 10 pound a month after. Um, actually I'll make it 25. And then the paid trial is going to be, let's say 10. And let's go and turn on the trial days. Let's make it 30. So the first month is at 10. And then after that, it will be taking monthly fees at 25 each. And then I'm gonna click finish. Okay, let's have a look at that. I'm jumping into here and I'm just gonna refresh. So I'm using incognito here. And we're gonna have this. So now we've got this paid trial. So the first installment is 10 pounds. Um, you're gonna get that for 30 day trial. And then after that, we're going to get 25 a month after the trial. Okay, so what we're gonna look at now is initial fees. Let's set up an initial fee. So I'm gonna to go to, in this case, remember subscription and payment plans, these kind of work in the same way. So let's go to subscription again, go into here. I'm gonna take an initial fee this time. So we're gonna say that this is 25 pound a month and we're gonna turn additional fee on and the additional one-time fee is going to be, let's say, 
we're going to say 250 okay and we're going to say it's monthly we're not going to set any trial days on this this is just the initial fee and I'm going to go in here and name this initial fee 250 I'm going to click finish okay let's jump and have a look at that so once again I'm going to refresh this and now we're going to have an initial fee of 250 plus the 25 making it 275 and after that point it's going to be 25 pound a month please also note that that if you've got that turn on gets applied to these as well so uh, now I want to just give you a little bit of a head up on warnings with the PayPal so if you're using coupons you will have a problem unless the coupon is applied to every billing cycle yes you cannot apply it to one billing cycle so you can't apply it to one and then it revert back to the normal price so we've given you warnings in here when we've done this so if you go into courses and we go into coupons what you're going to see in the coupons um, when you create a new coupon is it's actually going to tell you um, that you cannot um, do it for all types so let me just add a new coupon and I call this 50 percent off okay and we're going to do it as a percentage or an amount this doesn't matter I'm going to say 50 percent off so we're going to apply it to all products now what you're going to get is applied discount during every billing that means it's going to take 50 percent off every billing billing for this coupon if I try to use PayPal um, with this then it's going to give me a warning this coupon will not work for PayPal recurring plans so what does this mean well if you want to apply it for the first billing only or you want to apply it for a certain amount of billing months then PayPal will not work however you can still set this up it just means that it will only work with Stripe okay so if you've got Stripe and PayPal set up, Stripe will be the only one that comes up if you use this method, all right? However, if you apply it to every billing cycle, then it will work. Now, the reason for this is PayPal um, doesn't give us the option to be able to do that in their API, okay? So it's nothing that we can do our end. It is a PayPal problem. So there's certain things that don't work with PayPal, which I'm going to talk about now. So PayPal, um, very important note, um, not supported for PayPal are recurring order bumps, okay? Um, order bumps for recurring plans, okay? We've got daily or one week plans, okay? Um, first times for coupons on reoccurring coupons has to apply on re all recurring billings for PayPal to work, all right? So as I just mentioned, coupons not supported in setup fee plus reoccurring cases, okay, recurring cases. So be aware of the limitations there. If you try to apply them and they don't work with PayPal, then it just will not work. However, if you have Stripe enabled as well, Stripe will work. Um, it just won't show the PayPal, okay. So new feature for you. Um, limited only by PayPal's API um, by exactly what you can do but we've now enabled this for you guys to use we hope you like the feature and yeah happy PayPal -ing.